My name is Remy Dairo and my friends call me Mr. Productivity. I know you know that already. Okay, so um, today I want to share with you, uh, you know, from somebody who asked me a question and said, uh, Coach Audi, can you uh, tell me one thing I should focus on this year? One thing I should do this year? One thing, one thing. I said, oh, you have to do so many things. But, you know, um, if you ask me for one thing, I will tell you that one thing you need to do this year to increase your productivity. So the question here is, what can I do? What is that one thing I should do or I should focus on this year that will increase my output, that will increase my result? You know, many people have um, so many dreams in their, you know, in their mind. They have so much aspiration. They have so much, you know, thing they want to achieve at the end of the year, 2024. This is January planning, you know, putting things together. I want to achieve this result in my career. I want to achieve this result in my business. I want to do so much, you know, in this area, in that area. I mean, there's nothing bad in having so much dreams, having so much aspirations and, you know, goals. There's nothing bad. But the question is always, is it everybody that have aspirations that achieve them? No. Is there everybody that have dreams that achieve them? No. Is there everybody that set goals that achieve them? No. So what do you need to do? And I'm going to teach you just one thing that I need to focus on. If you focus on this one thing, your productivity will jump up to 10x. You will see that there will be a, an exponential result, exponential, you know, um, a progress, exponential tangible result, you know, a productivity in your endeavor. So what is that thing, Remy? Tell me, tell me, I want to know that one thing I need to do. What I need to focus on. All right. Now, what exactly is productivity? Productivity is result. Productivity is output. So if you see productivity as a tree, if you see productivity as a, a completed project, you now begin to wind back and say, how do we focus on the seed that becomes the tree, right? Or how do you focus on the things we need to do or to put the plants, the planting, the, that we need to do before we emerge in that big building, before we emerge in that big project? So what you need to focus on is the input. Don't focus on the output. Leave it. Focus on the input. Let your life be focused on input. What do I do daily? What do I do every minute? What do I do every second? What do I do every time that is leading me to achieving that great, awesome you know, idea that I have in my mind? So if you don't have that clear in your mind, you will struggle because you will think, Why is, what's happening? I can't achieve this result. Why is this result so, why is this becoming so you know, hard for me to achieve this? It's because you are putting pressure on the result. You are putting pressure on the output. No, 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 no. You got to sit down and find out and roll back and ask yourself, what are the little steps I need to take per day? What are the little steps I need to take per every minute? per every second that is leading me to the outcome I desire. So, don't focus on the big result. Focus on each step. Don't focus on tomorrow. Focus on now, today. Be present in your today. Let every day be an exciting day. It's, it's a seed into harvest of exciting tomorrow, right? Let every day be a solution day where you are cracking things out. It's a seed to have rest tomorrow. Don't push anything to tomorrow. In fact, there's nothing like yesterday and tomorrow. You only have today to prove, to, to prove your, you know, how tomorrow will look like. Yesterday is the seed you sown days back. So what do you need to do? Sow a new seed. Prepare a new ground. Invest into something new, and then you see the harvest in a different dimension. Challenges will come, issues of life will come, wind will blow, things will happen. But I tell you, keep on moving on. Keep focusing on little things. Little things, little step. Little things, little step. You will see a mega result at the end of the day. Now, the, the point here is don't focus on the big result. No, no, no. Focus on the little things. So if there's one thing you need to do this year, focus on a day. What do I do today? So when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, what do I want to achieve today? What are the steps I want to take today? Who do I see? Who do I talk to? What do I do? What do I do? You must ask yourself that question, leading you towards the bigger vision, towards the bigger goal, right? Okay? 
Then, before before you sleep in the night, ask yourself, how, how far have I gone today? What did I do right? What do I need, I need to learn? learn you know, you know what I need to learn, um, so that by tomorrow you start on a cleaner note. You must make sure that your tomorrow is better than yesterday. I mean, than today, right? Your today is better than yesterday. What you need to do is to imp keep improving yourself every day. Keep improving yourself. Uh, instrumental improvement, right? Uh, incremental improvement. You see, uh, you know, uh, uh, improvement per day is what makes your life. A greater result. It what makes your life a big project. It what makes your life, you know, something you're excited about. Something other also, wow, what a result! You know what? Because you've been taking steps. So, if you must have a great December, start from January every day, every day at a time. Pressures will come, issues of life will come, challenges will come one day at a time. What do I need to do today? Pushing me further. What's the plan to take today? Who do I need to call? Who do I need to connect with? Make sure you also have, you know, somebody you are adding into your life. Somebody's new, some, a new contact, a new address, a new, you know, um, you know profession, professional coming to your life. I mean, a, somebody new coming to your life per day. You are adding value to your life. Learn something new per day. It can be, a, 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 you know, it can be a chapter per day. It can be a page per day. Invest in it. If you want to write your book, don't write everything at, at, at once. Write a page per day. Write two pages per day. Write three pages per day. You are increasing, it's called incremental improvement. Incremental improvement. You, you are increasing capacity to be able to, to get more. So what am I trying to say? Don't focus on challenges. Don't focus on things that happen around you. Focus on what you need to do per time. And I can assure you, your productivity will go to the next level. All right? One more time, my name is Remy Dairo, and my friends call me Mr. Productivity. I, I, I'm establishing, I'm starting a, a, a new community of productive, right? Prosperous and posterity kind of people. People who are productive what they do, either in career or in business, and who are also, um, you know, learning the skills to be, uh, how to be rich, how they want to also make money while they are productive. Then they want to live legacy, a life of legacy. So I call it the three P's. You know, they are productive, you know, and they are prosperous, and they are living a life of, you know, prosperity. So I want you to join me. I'm going to send the link very soon. I want you to join that community. It's a community you need to join to increase your capacity, uh, especially for productivity and then prosperity this year. All right? See you at the other side. Next week, I'll release another video on Tuesday and Friday. Every Tuesday and Friday, my video is out on YouTube. Check it out. Every Tuesday and Friday, my video is, on, is live on YouTube. And then I'm going to see you next week, Tuesday. Have a good one.